All right, I am letting everyone in. It is just 7.15 and I'm gonna go ahead and mute everyone. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, as I do with any meeting, I wait a few minutes before everybody can get on here. Okay. Give it just a couple of minutes. Make sure that nobody's having trouble getting on. Do you guys ever see a fidget pen? It's cool. It's like a fidget pen. Cool. All right, we got two minutes and then we're going in. I have a lot to go over, a lot to talk about. We're going to have some of you guys talk. Yay. So people coming in. Mary, I saw you in here. I see your name. I'm here, yeah. I don't know why the, the video is not coming up. It's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. here. You don't mind not being on video? No, that's okay. Okay. Hello. Hi.
All right. Well, we are getting started. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to Shred Into Summer, which I'm super excited about. I am doing it along with you guys. I'm sorry if my phone pings. It's, I can't stop it because it connects to my computer. Um, I'm doing it along with you guys. So I am tracking as I always do. Um, and you won't see my name in the app, but you will see a name because I go by somebody else. Um, but I'm doing the workouts, I'm doing the water, I'm doing everything, uh, just as you guys are. So, um, and I obviously get my steps in every day. So, um, it just helps me, um, you know, rein it a little bit too. We all do our thing and bring it back. Right. Okay. Um, so welcome. Are you guys excited? Hands up. If I know you all are excited, shred into summer. Yay. I am excited. Um, this first meeting, I like to call on a couple of people. I like to do voluntarily. If people don't volunteer, I will Shannon tier you, which means I will volunteer somebody um, to talk about um, who they are, how long they've been the Shred Tribe, what they've done so far in the Shred Tribe, and one piece of advice. Um, first thing I want to do is raise your hand if this is not your first Shred Tribe session. Not. Yay, look at all those hands. All those engaged, committed people that are in the meeting. All right, now raise your hand if this is your first session. I know there's more than just you. Well, you might be the only one actually on the meeting. Wow, good for you. Um, So, and they, I know they know. Oh no, Drew is on too. I just saw that. Penny's on. All right, there's a few of you that it's your first time. Um, so raise your hand, the people that have stayed on. If the first time you ever did the Shred Tribe, you were like, no way, I can't do this. It's way too much food. I don't know how I'm gonna long, I'm gonna last. Almost as many hands that went up the first time when I asked how many people are staying on, right? Now raise your hand that you've been in it and now you're like, oh, this is nothing like what I thought. It's so much easier now. It's just normal. It's my life. Yes. So there's hope for all the new people that are messaging me every day saying this is too much food. There's no way I'm going to get this all in. I think you need to recalculate my macros. Can you figure out my proteins again? Something's wrong. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Actually, I'm 100% sure I know what I'm doing. And um, I am going to be with you every step of the way. If we need to dial it in, we dial it in for the right reasons. And I talked about that in your Q&A on Saturday. If you are new or if you're not new, there's three meetings from last week. Welcome meeting, Macros 101, and Q&A. If you are not new, you're doing yourself a disservice not watching it because I reinforce things that I've already said that will help you stay engaged, stay, motiv stay motivated, and stay committed and de dedicated to what you're doing going forward. Pretend this is a whole new session for you guys, and you're starting from scratch. You don't know what you're doing, so you need to absorb everything that I'm saying, right? Versus saying, oh, I don't need to track that because I've already done this three sessions already. Did I say Alexa? Alexa, off. That was really weird. Music just came on, but I don't remember saying anything about that. Um, I don't even know. I lost my, she just totally threw me off with playing music. Okay. So yes, refocusing. And these meetings, even though they are recorded, it's such a different vibe and it affects you differently watching them live. So I always say, please try to get on there live. Raise your hand if you've, you've been on pretty much every meeting live on Wednesdays. Mary, you can raise your hand too. I could see you now. Oh, maybe that's just a picture. Oh, that's a picture of her going like this. I thought it was actually her. Okay. Oh, and it's you. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Um, so yeah, it definitely makes a difference coming on live than watching it on record, but you do have the option of watching it on record. I do put it in there. It usually takes 
about an hour and a half for it to follow through and then get on YouTube and all that. So I try to do it by say that it's going to be on there by 10 o'clock at night, but it may not be. So check it. If it's not, it will be on there before you wake up in the morning. Oh, and Agam is with you. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so who wants to go first? You got about a minute and a half to two minutes to say who you are, how much weight you've lost, how long you've been in the Shard Tribe, and one piece of advice. Stacey, you're first. Okay, let's go. Sucks to be the sister of the coach. Well, I'm Shannon's sister, and I didn't believe in this forever. I thought it was all like pictures she just found. And I thought, yeah, I'm not doing that. And I finally get fed up with everything, got fed up with the way I felt and looked and um, decided to give it a try. And thank God I did. It's the most amazing thing in the world. I've lost 85 pounds. Um, thank you. Uh, the last 15 are getting tough, but we'll get there slow and easy. Uh, just stay engaged, stay in the meetings and meal plan. That's my biggest advice for this because um, I try and meal pl plan over the weekend from Monday through Thursday. I give myself a little more freedom to plan midweek for Friday. And then I always plan on the weekend when I wake up but I like having it planned for the week. So try and stay on top of that. It helps. Thank you. And Stacy's coming from New York in August around my 50th birthday. So we're all going to get together for a dinner or something and you guys can all meet and all that fun stuff. So thank you, Stacy. That was awesome. And does anyone else want to volunteer? <laughs> if not, I could pick people. I'm going to pick two more people. Julie, you want to talk? You're muted. Can you unmute yourself? I'll unmute you. I'll ask you to unmute and that might help you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yes, I'll go. Well, I, this is the second time I'm trying. I did a session and then I kind of took off for a few months and now I'm back at it. And um, well, the last time I just couldn't do it at all. Um, but even though I did it imperfectly, I did see results. And so now I'm trying again. And actually, I'm kind of proud of myself. So yesterday, I actually had a day where I pretty much met all of my macros, which I never did in the like six weeks before. So I think it's finally starting to click. I, I'm realizing now you have to, well, now your sister Stacy just said that she plans out the whole week. I'm just thinking, Oh, I have to do the whole day. <laughs> I just I just realized that. Now I said, oh, I guess I'm supposed to do the whole week. No, but, okay. Stacey's one an day, anomaly. One day, Stacey's an anomaly. One day at a time. One day at a time. But at least I, since I was able to do it one day, it's kind of encouraged me now that I yes. can do it again. I love that, Julie. And you know what? Use the same foods. Help yourself. Start using the same things, that, you know, Make your, your dinners maybe different and that will help you stay focused and committed because you'll know what you're going to eat by just repeating the same stuff throughout the day. And then dinner is like that special variety for you. Good job. I'm glad you're back. Welcome back. And you brought a friend with you this time. I, I, would, say, I would say misery loves company, but that's not true. You want to support your friends. So you brought a friend, which is awesome. So thank you very much. Um, okay, so... Andrea, I really want to call on you. Do you mind talking? Because you're like the silent winner. Like you, you do so well, but you don't, I don't really praise you. And, you know, I don't post the pictures and stuff like that, but I would love for you to just talk if you don't mind. I can unmute you. Hold on one second. I can ask you to unmute, I think. Ask to unmute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, my name is Andrea. I'm from West Palm. I've been in the Shred Tribe since October. I've lost 30 pounds. Um, one of the big things I would say is log your food definitely the night before. Um, I try to make sure that it's all logged, everything's hit, and um, I definitely know that that's a difference. Um, sometimes you have to mess with it in the middle of the day if something happens, but um, log before and I do try and have everything planned out Monday through Thursday as well because those are the days I work so it's always easier to know what I'm going to eat those days so um awesome. but yes it's great and 
Shannon is definitely always there for anything that you need. Oh, thank you. I try. Thanks, Andrea. I <laughs> promise I didn't ask her to talk before the meeting. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Does anyone else want to say anything or should I just go on with the meeting? We're good? Okay, because we'll ask more people next week. Don't worry. All right. So, oh, you want to talk, Corinne? Go ahead. Go. Did you have your hand up? I don't want to slight you because you actually volunteered. Okay, my fiance is yelling at me. He keeps on telling me, raise my hand, raise my hand, raise my hand. <laughs> okay, good. You go for it. All right. <clears throat> so I've been with you probably, I think it's been about a year and a half, almost two years. Um, and I, I could do have to say I do slack on the weekends and I, you know, I do see that on Monday morning and I tell myself I need to do better. But um, I said, I've, I've definitely, I've dropped at the thing. My total was about 30 and I think I've kind of been bouncing between 20 and 30. So I just, I know I need to be strict. I have my wedding coming up June 24th and <laughs> I did my dress fitting yesterday and they need to do an extension on top because I ordered it a size smaller and I shouldn't have done that. But um, I think the best thing to do is just be prepared and uh, you have to plan. You know, I, I, I've always hit myself when I've eaten before I've logged. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I only needed like five less fat, you know, like I could have worked that in if I would have logged it before I ate it. So that's just, it's a big thing. Just try to prepare and, and just food prep for the week when you can. Um, and I said, you're awesome. I've done the boot camp. Camps are great. I love working out with you. <laughs> you And you're taking my spin classes. And yes, the, the big thing is just stay active. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you for volunteering. Thank your fiance for volunteering you. Carlos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's come we to my boot him. camp too. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for kind of volunteering, for Carlos <laughs> volunteering. Okay. So a um, couple of things I just want to talk about. The step contest is over. I'm going to delete the group. I've asked you guys a hundred million times to send me your step totals. I received four. I think there was 20 people in the group. I have to count it one more time before I delete the group because um, Debbie Henning, who is not um, in the meeting right now, did 588,000 steps. So as far as I am concerned, she was the close. She was the winner. Lori, you were so close behind her. I think yours was 584. Yeah, 584, which is awesome. Um, so, and she actually sent me her broken down days of every day. She had an Excel spreadsheet which is amazing. Um, so congratulations to her. I think she won like $180 or $200 because it's the pot of everybody's $10 that went into the step challenge. We'll be doing that again. I don't like to do it right away because I don't want to overwhelm people. So I'll talk about it next week. And it's usually the last six weeks of the challenge. So first two weeks, I don't do anything about that. Um, so let me, nobody's here. They're just barking. Oh, I ordered an espresso, so it should be could be the Amazon guy. Okay. Um, stop. We will be doing a share and tell, and I'm going to talk about the next meeting because someone asked me, is this the share and tell? We never do the share and tell for the first couple of meetings because people don't know what foods they like yet. And I'm going to talk about that next week. Um, a lot of people have switched to in-app tracking, which is awesome. Um, I love, I'm doing the in-app tracking actually as well. And I'm finding it so much better than it used to be. It has changed so much from how it was when I first got it in the app, I think a year ago. Um, so if you are switching to in-app tracking or you switch to in-app tracking or you want to, please let me know. One of the major benefits of in-app tracking is recipes. There's a discovery where you can find recipes for high protein, low protein, air fryer, how you, fast cooking. Like there's just so many options with so many different recipes. You don't get that if you don't have in-app tracking. Um, so if you want to try it, you can try it. You can let me know. Um, really quick, I just want to repeat, if you have MyFitnessPal, people are saying, well, we can't scan and I don't want to pay for premium. I've talked about the hack. Log into MyFitnessPal, go under your settings and change that you lived in the UK, not the United States. If you put UK, you get scanning, UPS code, whatever those are, the SKUs for free. So you can continue scanning without upgrading to the um, premium, whatever, MyFitnessPal. Um, we started the walk and talk two Mondays ago. 
and that is through Facebook Live. So if you are interested in doing the walk and talk with us, um, it's Mondays at 6.15. It's 30 minutes. I talk the entire time. Uh, it's kind of like our meetings or more like a podcast, but I have a topic. And as we walk wherever you are, whether you're on the treadmill, you're walking and we have people that walk in the football practices and, you know, wherever you are all over the country, um, you can join us that you guys only see me. If you want to even look, you could just hold your phone and not even watch me, but you can hear me. Um, and it's 30 minutes from there. We're done at 645 and every Monday at 7 p.m. We have the 30 minute bands and uh, dumbbell workout. And that is also included in your Shred Tribe. And that's through this Zoom, the exact same Zoom link. Um, starting in June, I'm going to be hopefully doing both of those things on Thursday nights as well. Not making any promises, but that's my plan. So just want to put that out there for you guys. Um, a bunch of people ordered tanks. Um, I didn't, they're in for order. I didn't get them yet. So people thought that I had posted that I had received them and sent them out. I probably said I put them out, but I probably meant to the, to the printer. So um, it's you only live once, you might as well live badass. And it says Shred Tribe really small underneath it. Um, you can get them in pink or black. They're $25 and the proceeds go to the Wounded Warrior Foundation. I don't keep the money. Um, my dad is a two-time Purple Heart recipient for Vietnam. So that's why I chose Wounded Warrior. Um, and then for shipping, obviously I have to pay for shipping. There, I have a couple of the, um, what doesn't challenge you won't change you tank tops still available. And then some of the shred tribe that you guys see me wear all the time. Um, and that's that. I uh, just want to go through all my housekeeping really quick. And up, walk and talk. Okay. Um, so I always have a topic and I always have notes for my topic. So because it is one of the first meetings, um, I want to talk about protein and how to increase your protein, protein intake. And even if you've been in the shred tribe prior and you've heard this meeting before, it's great reinforcement and a great reminder. Um, we have about, I don't know, about 20 minutes for me to go through this. So first thing is eat your protein first. You know, I always tell you guys, you want to eat six to eight ounces of protein at every meal main meals. Well, if you wait to eat your carbs before you eat that, you're going to be way too full and you're not going to want to eat your proteins. There was a study done probably about 35 years ago. Um, they put food on a plate and they put them on the plate for obese people, not obese people and somewhere in between. And there was carbs and then there was protein. And they found out that the obese people were eating their carbs first thing on their plate. The food they love the most is what they ate first. And the people that did not have any weight issues ate their protein first. Mentally, that's what they figured out. Like they, they, that's what the research study was. It wasn't to see if they gained weight or not gained weight. They wanted to see what the mental capacity was, what the thought process was for these people. I'm one of those obese thinkers that if I see mac and cheese on my plate and I see a piece of chicken on my plate, the first thing I'm going to try is the mac and cheese. I'm not going to even think about the chicken. Of course, I've retrained my brain and now I don't do that. But at one time when I was 242 pounds, that was my whole process. I would have had dessert before dinner if I could. Um, and then said, screw dinner, right? I probably would still do that if I could. Um, but yeah, so you want to make sure that you eat your protein first. Protein increases your gut hormone that makes you feel full and satisfied. And the most important macro to get in every day is your protein. You'll get your carbs and your fats in. The majority, 99% of us will not have a problem getting your proteins and fats in. It will come along with everything else that you're eating throughout the day. It's the proteins that you really have to focus on and really plan ahead to get the right amount in. Eating one egg at breakfast, eating two slices of deli meat at lunch, and a little piece of chicken at dinner, you are never going to hit your macros and your goals will never be reached. The more you eat, the more you lose. If you hit your numbers, you will be right on and you'll, you'll, you'll see everything change. I promise you. Um, 
Also, high protein intake decreases the hunger hormone and increases your metabolic rate after eating and while you're sleeping. So protein is not just, I'm not just telling you to eat protein to eat it. It helps support your muscles. It helps support recovery. It helps you be, not be hungry. Um, also, eating protein first can help keep your blood sugar and your insulin levels from rising after a meal. So if you're a type two borderline diabetic or you're a type two diabetic or even type one, by eating your proteins um, first and then eating your carbs, it balances it out. And I always tell you guys, if you're eating a carb, eat a protein with it. The protein will help break down and synthesize the carbs faster than if you were just to eat a carb by itself. Um, okay, so summary, eating protein first at meals can help you feel full and keep your blood sugar and insulin levels from rising too high. So number one thing, eat your protein first. Number two, and people are, I know people are gonna be like, really? But snack on cheese. People are going to say, but wait, isn't that not great for your health? So cheese does not seem to raise your cholesterol levels much, even among people with high cholesterol. It's a way to say, oh, it's probably because you eat too much cheese, but it's, it's been proven that that's not the case. Um, research, even studies have shown that cheese is a heart health benefit food. So getting extra protein in your diet, have a cheese stick. I keep in my refrigerator um, the Colby Jack, you know, the one that's mixed. It's like Colby Jack cheddar cheese sticks, I think it is. It's white and orange, whatever it is. Um, the low fat ones, I keep them in the refrigerator. So if I'm short on fats, which I'm never short on fat, but if I'm short on fats and I need protein, I can eat one of those. Um, sometimes I'll just stick it in my log in the morning because I have so much to do for the day so that I do eat it. Um, I always keep them in the refrigerator. I, they're just always in there. Um, so if you had at a snack time, one cup serving of plain tortilla chips, it has about 142 calories, but only two grams of protein. But if you had an ounce serving of cheddar cheese, it has seven grams of protein and about 30 calories less than your chips. Food for thought, no pun intended but I guess pun intended. Um, the one thing you're going to notice is that it's a big eye opener of all the foods you're eating. Like you're going to be like, holy crap, I couldn't believe that had that much food or carbs, or I never thought that it was this, or I thought that was a protein. And it's just a huge awakening when you start tracking macros. Um, moving on to number three. So if you're a cereal person, Instead of having a whole bowl of cereal, have a half a serving of cereal and have an egg with it or two eggs with it or three eggs with it. You need the carbs, you need the protein. You don't need all the fats that come with the yolk of the eggs. So maybe do two whites and one yellow, you know, one full if you need to have that fats in your, like a lot of people don't like egg whites, but it's okay if you mix it with a little bit of the yolk. So you can do that. Um, you know, breakfast foods, cereals, oats, all those things are low in protein, unless you do like protein oats, like Kodiak. They do that intentionally. It's it's protein-based oats. Um, you can do oats and put a scoop of protein powder in your oats. It is so good. I will take pro, uh, my oats and put a scoop of chocolate protein powder and a scoop of peanut butter and mix it up. And it's like chocolate peanut butter pie. It is so delicious. There are times where I'm so hungry and that's all I want to eat, but I don't have the carbs and I'm so mad at myself because I it's so good. It's like dessert, but it's so good. Um, top your food with almonds. Almonds have six grams of protein in one ounce. You can put it in your yogurt, on top of your yogurt. Um, and with that yogurt, Choose Greek yogurt always because Greek yogurt um, has usually five to seven grams of more protein than regular yogurt. I don't even know if they make regular yogurt anymore. Do they? Anybody know? I only think about Greek yogurt. They, I'm sure they do. Yeah, I figure they do. But I mean, do you really see it? Do you talk about it? Honestly, no. Everybody sticks with the Greek yogurt now. Um and it's a high protein food. 
Greek yogurt. Um, seven ounces of Greek yogurt could have between 17 and 20 to 25 grams of protein, depending on which one you eat. So um, if you guys watch food in my fr fridge that I re recommend you guys watch, that's in my Zoom uh, YouTube channel, that's my kitchen. I show you guys that I keep three different types of yogurt in my refrigerator, a 12, a 15, and I think it's a 20 or a 20 something. So depending on how much protein I need to fi fix my log and plate um, macros Tetris, I know which one I can eat, but I always have them all in the refrigerator, unless Mike eats one, then I don't, but normally I do. Um, Greek yogurt contains almost twice as much protein as traditional yogurt, and you can add it to other foods also. Um, that's a great hack to take uh, Greek yogurt, and if you wanted like the onion uh, soup, mix it with that, and that's a really good dip, so you're not using sour cream. It tastes a little bit tarty, but the, the onion dip breaks it up. It's not so bad. Um, you can use, put, you know, fruit and uh, granola with your Greek yogurt. So you're getting a little bit of everything in there as an option. Um, along with your other food that you're eating for breakfast, you can have a protein shake. A protein shake should not be your meal for breakfast. You don't want to drink your meals. They don't satiate you. You might feel full. I know, Stacey, exactly what you're thinking, that I said that word correctly. Did you see that? Okay. Um, you might think that you're full for the moment because it's liquid, but 15 minutes later, you might be hungry. So you can add that as part of your meal, have that protein shake. That's what I do. The little um, Premier Protein Shake boxes. And then I eat my food. So I'm getting almost double the protein just because I'm doing that. Um, I've already talked about this. Include a high protein food with every meal. That will really, really, really help you with that. Um, lean jerkies, like turkey jerkies, chicken jerkies. Uh, just watch the sodium if you need to. You don't necessarily have to watch sodium if you're drinking half your body weight in water. Um, but if you do have, if your doctor told you to watch sodium for one reason or another, then yeah, be mindful of that. Uh, cottage cheese is another great food that's high in protein. One cup contains about 23 grams of protein. And you can mix it with fruit. You could put granola in it. Um, people put their tuna with their cottage cheese. Raise your hand if you're one of those people. Tuna with cottage cheese? No. Um, I, I, there are people in the Shred Tribe that do it. I can't remember who it is. Oh, Lori does. Thank you, Lori. She's like, I don't know if I want to own up to that, but I do. I'm sure it tastes good, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then the um, adamame is a great protein option, especially if you are a vegetarian and we do have some of them in the group. Any kind of legume, just be prepared that your carbs are going to go up along with it. Um, choose leaner cuts of meat. So if you are a red meat eater and I'm not, so I don't know what meat, red meat, like what different cuts taste like, but a T-bone has 21 grams of protein and it's 250 calories. That means that the majority of a T-bone is fat. There's no carbs. So the majority of it's fat. Uh, a sirloin is 26 grams of protein and only 150 calories. So you know you're going to choose the sirloin over the T-bone, right? If it's whiter, if, you have, if it has more white spots, it's fattier. If anybody goes to Okeechobee Steakhouse and they bring you out the meat on the tray and they show you the big brick and it's like marble and he's like, this is our best meat, it's marble. Yeah, it's the best meat because it's the fattiest. That's why it tastes the best. Stay away from it. Go with the one that's really red that's probably not going to be as juicy if you have to have it. I just don't know what they taste like, so I can't tell you. Um, Add protein, um, I'm sorry, add peanut butter as protein if you can. Margarita, you're not allowed to do that. But everybody else is if you have the control to not eat a lot of it. Um, I like the nut butter brand that has the different things in it. I've talked about this before. I have to hide it in my pantry from Mike because I can literally take a tablespoon and put it on my rice cakes and be done. The other person can literally eat the entire jar and not think twice. 
So he has no idea that there's two jars in our pantry. They're like literally hidden behind all my vitamins and things that he would never even think to want to eat. And then I have to sneak it out when he's not home and get to eat it. But if you're, if you are okay with eating peanut butter and being able to just have that little serving and not think about it again, that's a great option. And like I said, I put it in my oatmeal too. It is so good. So good. Um, tuna. So I love the pouches. They're easy to grab and go. I always throw a couple of pouches in my lunchbox in the morning, just in case I don't get a chance to eat something that's in my lunchbox. I could just open it up and use um, a plastic spoon or fork and eat it right from the pouch. I buy like the um, flavored kinds, the smoked something. I mean, I, I, I can pull them out, but there's all different flavors. I don't go with the ones like the deli because I don't like the way the mayo or whatever it is they put in there, but they have a lemon. They have a sun-dried tomato. They're all really good. And I just eat them right from the uh, pouch. A lot of times I'll come home and I'm starving but I don't have any carbs left because I already put it in for my dinner. I will grab one of those pouches and eat protein. Can't going over your protein is not a big deal. Going over the other things is a big deal. So I usually will just grab one of those and just start eating them. And the buffalo is really good. The barbecue is really good. Um, they also make chicken in a can from Costco. The other day we mixed it with relish and um, apples, and they were really good. Has anybody not seen that, or does anybody know what I'm talking about? Raise your hand if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to get it really quick. Hold on. If I can pull one out. Okay, so this is the can. It's actually pretty big because this is my cup bottom and this is the can. So it's a pretty big container. It's um, 12 ounces. So this container um, is actually almost four servings. And each serving is 13 grams of protein. So the other day I had two servings, two 26 grams. And it's actually just really good, extra lean chicken breasts. I, I should save this for the share and tell, but I'll, I'll share it now. Um, and we mixed um, relish and we cut up some apples and mixed it in with it. And it was really, really good. No mayo. I don't eat mayo. No, so none of that. But it was it was so good that I Mike usually brings home like seared tuna and stuff from dinner from the club. And I said, I'm just going to have this tonight. I'm going to make it something with this. So it was really, really, really good. Um, and they come like big container packages. So you get six in the thing from Costco. Um, Oh, and that was the last thing. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so I wrote down this quick synopsis. When you're eating high protein in each meal, it will help you lose weight, gain muscle, and improve your body composition and metabolic health. So I know it's going to seem challenging to get those proteins in, but if you use those tips, if you ask me, I will help you hit those numbers. Um, you should be getting shout outs every day. If you're not getting nutrition shout outs, then we need to have a conversation and figure out what we need to do to get you to hit your numbers. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, um, Julie said that it just clicked, right? So a lot of times it does take three to four weeks for it to click. Don't back out just when it's starting to work. Stick with it. You can do it with my help. We will have, we will get you guys all those shout outs. You can see them in the main group. You see all the shout outs, right? But then you see in your little group that you still have, there's only like two or three every day. So that's going to go away, by the way, that little group, you won't have that little group anymore. Um, and you're all going to be in the, your regular groups. Um, oh, one more thing I want to tell you, and I have less than a minute. Um, I had a bunch of teachers that couldn't get into this session. So I'm doing a separate session starting on June 5th. If you have any teacher or staff that works at schools that wanted to get in that could not get in, have them reach out to me. They're going to get 15% off if it's their first session to do the special summer session only. You get $10 if anybody signs up. Everybody gets $10 credit. 